Welcome to our channel. Today, we're uncovering the secrets of these incredible crustaceans, lobsters. Ever wondered about their remarkable biology, behaviors, and the vital role they play in marine ecosystems? Well, you're in the right place. But here's the catch, we need your support. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video to keep the ocean exploration going. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to stay updated with all our marine adventures. Let's dive right in and discover the enchanting life of these fascinating creatures. They are classified within the Animalia Kingdom and belong to the Phylum Arthropoda. In the context of arthropods, Lobsters are part of the class Crustacea, which includes a wide range of species, such as crabs, shrimps, and crayfish. The taxonomic order to which lobsters belong is Decapita, which refers to the presence of ten legs or locomotor appendages. This order includes several other economically and ecologically important crustaceans. In addition to lobsters, Crabs and shrimps are notable examples of animals that fall under the Decapita order. It is important to note that there are several lobster species, with the American lobster, Homerus americanus, and the European lobster, Homerus gamerus, being some of the most well-known. Each species may have variations in its taxonomic classification based on specific anatomical, morphological, and genetic characteristics. Like other arthropods, lobsters have a rigid exoskeleton that covers their bodies. This exoskeleton provides protection against predators and structural support, but it also imposes limitations on growth. To grow, lobsters need to go through molts, during which they shed their old exoskeleton and develop a new one. Lobsters are known for their sharp claws, which are used for capturing prey, manipulating food, and defending against predators. They also have long, sensitive antennae that play a crucial role in detecting scents, orientation, and communication. A lobster's body is divided into distinct segments, including the head, thorax, and abdomen. The carapace, which covers the dorsal part of the body, is hard and protects the internal parts. Segmentation is an adaptation that allows flexible and agile movements, especially in the legs and appendages. Lobsters have 10 legs, adapted for locomotion and object manipulation. The posterior legs are typically larger and stronger, enabling them to swim quickly and escape from predators. The front legs are often specialized for food capture. The coloration of lobsters can vary, but many species display shades of red, brown, green, and blue. Their ability to change color is related to environmental and physiological factors, such as camouflage and communication. Lobsters' antennae are extremely sensitive to chemical stimuli in the water. This is essential for finding food, detecting predators, and communicating with other individuals of the same species. Lobsters have compound eyes, composed of several individual units called ometidia. These eyes provide a panoramic view of the underwater environment and are sensitive to variations in light and movement. A lobster's tail is composed of the abdomen, which ends in a fan-shaped structure called the uropod. This structure is used for swimming and, in some species, is a distinctive feature. Lobsters are known for their impressive lifespans. Some lobsters have been estimated to live for over 100 years, and their aging process is quite unique. They continue to grow throughout their lives, and their size can be an indicator of their age. Lobsters have remarkable regenerative abilities. 
They can regrow lost limbs, including claws and legs, during the molting process. This regenerative capacity contributes to their resilience in the face of injuries or threats from predators. Just like humans, lobsters can be right-handed or left-handed. Some lobsters have larger and stronger claws on their right side, while others have them on the left. This handedness can influence their interactions and behavior. While lobsters are typically brown, red, or green, there are rare blue lobsters due to a genetic mutation. These blue lobsters are highly sought after by collectors and can be found in various marine environments. Lobsters communicate with each other using a complex language of scents and sounds. They release chemical signals into the water to convey information about their location, readiness to mate, and even to establish dominance or submission. Lobsters are opportunistic predators, and their hunting methods are quite interesting. They often use their strong claws to capture prey, but some species have specialized techniques. For instance, the mantis shrimp, a type of lobster, uses powerful strikes with its claws to catch prey. In some situations, lobsters may resort to cannibalism, particularly when they are housed in close quarters with limited resources. Larger lobsters have been known to prey on smaller or weaker ones. Lobsters are known for their long-distance migrations. They often move to deeper waters in the winter to find warmer temperatures and return to shallower waters in the summer. This behavior helps them regulate their body temperature. Lobsters have an incredible ability to regenerate not only limbs but also damaged internal organs. Their bodies are highly adaptable and can recover from various injuries. Lobsters have made their way into various aspects of human culture. They are considered a delicacy in many cuisines, often associated with luxury dining. Additionally, lobsters are sometimes used as symbols of strength, resilience, and adaptability. Lobster fishing is a vital economic activity in many regions of the world. Lobster fishing provides jobs for fishermen, processors, traders, and exporters. It is an essential part of the economy in coastal areas such as Maine in the United States, the Nova Scotia region in Canada, and various Caribbean nations. The export of live and processed lobsters is a growing industry. Lobsters are shipped to international markets where the demand for these high-quality seafood is constant. Mainly Asian countries like Japan, China, and South Korea import significant quantities of lobsters. The presence of fresh lobsters in restaurants and seafood menus is a significant attraction for coastal tourism. Many visitors seek the experience of savoring lobsters in locations famous for their fishing. This drives tourism and the local economy. The lobster industry creates jobs in various stages, from harvesting to processing and distribution. Fishermen, cold storage workers, traders, chefs, and waitstaff depend directly or indirectly on lobsters for their livelihood. Sustainable management of lobster populations is vital to maintain the industry in the long term. Many areas have implemented strict regulations to protect lobsters, including minimum catch sizes and fishing quotas. This ensures the survival of the species and keeps the industry operational. Sustainable management of lobster populations is vital to maintain the industry in the long term. Many areas have implemented strict regulations to protect lobsters, including minimum catch sizes and fishing quotas. This ensures the survival of the species and keeps the industry operational. 
The lobster industry stimulates the development of more efficient and sustainable fishing technologies and practices. This leads to advancements that can be applied to other areas of the seafood industry. We've uncovered some incredible secrets about lobsters, and we hope you've enjoyed this oceanic adventure as much as we have. If you've enjoyed this video and want to explore more of the deep blue sea with us, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it with your friends. Your support means the world to us. Thanks for joining us on this incredible lobster journey. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and most importantly, keep caring for our oceans.